Hey, it's Danielle. Welcome to the free video. So starting off, I just want to talk about the fact that this is bank earnings. We're going to start off JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and absolutely the way that the stock market reacts to bank earnings is going to have a big impact on the run, oops, run into earnings the rest of the quarter. So if bank earnings are great and the stock market shoots higher, the run into earnings will be even stronger. If bank earnings are terrible, it will give us a pullback buy for a lot of these other tickers for the run into earnings. So looking at my watch list, you can see that there's quite a bit of tickers coming up that have a really strong pre-earnings 21 day average. We've got TJ Maxx, CMI, Cree, TTWO, PayPal, TNDM, PANW, CRM, HSY, DDOG, FSLR, all these different tickers that have, you know, statistically a statistically likely chance that they're going to trade higher going into earnings. One of my favorite ones is going to be TWLO. So this one has just entered the zone uh, just a few days ago. It was trading at 355 when it entered the zone and the average move is about $55. So there's definitely still some meat on the bones. The reason why I like this one is because it's coming up right under resistance. Now, for those of you who know me, you know that I don't normally like tickers under resistance, but this quarter has been a little bit different because the NASDAQ broke out of the same range and because the FANG stocks have led their way higher out of this breakout zone. And so actually this quarter it's been coming, it's been working really nicely where we have these stickers that are coming out of that zone and they're breaking higher with some nice momentum. So with TWLO, I'm looking for that same thing. Um, we have that $55 average, and then we also have the uh, zones that are kind of popping up here. So I have one zone at about 420. I think targeting 400 would be a pretty nice, easy target. Uh, 420 would basically be a return to right around the previous highs, but I think 400 is a pretty, pretty good target. You can see that price resistance there. And when you look at, you know, where this ticker could potentially be, in 18 days, it's going to give you $35 range, which would bring you, you know, between 400 and $425. So I really think that, you know, you could target, or I'm sorry, 400 or about 415. I really think that you could target about either one, but because 400 has the key round number right here, I think it makes sense to focus on that $400 price point. So right here, I've structured a $25 wide butterfly. Uh, the spreads are definitely wide. So, you know, don't come in here and just hit the natural or leave it unlocked because you're gonna end up paying you know, twice as much than you need it to. So what I would like to do with this is do 375, 400, 425. Um, that's gonna give me a really good risk to reward, about one to four risk to reward. And it will allow me to have a low price trade that if and when um, TWLO trades up into 375, that will allow that butterfly to mature. So these are the exact kind of trades that we're going to be doing in my class that is going to be starting tomorrow. I had a class this weekend uh, based on my quarterly profit strategy that came with my hot zone tool. Really, really great class. I had a lot of positive testimonials and I'm going to be starting the live trading tomorrow. So if you would like to join me, my live trading is going to be tomorrow at the close, Tuesday, Thursday at the close, and then Friday at the open. You can go to simplertrading.com slash earnings to learn all about it. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 